A lot of you guys might recognize this from the scamstuff.com's website. They recently did a, a focus on this, and they call this the lock-proof pen. This is how it comes. Uh, they didn't say anything about the flashlight, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. Inside, you will find your pen. It's aluminum body. These are $29.95 a piece, plus $10 shipping and handling. Unfortunately, there's a minimum order. I had to order two of these, but the shipping was $9.99 for both of them. Um, very nicely machined. Uh, it's not bad. It's a pretty hefty pen. Very large for a pen. Uh, and the selling point on this is that in the end of it there's a piece of carbide. And in the video they show a guy taking this and then jabbing a piece of glass to shatter, use that point to shatter the glass. I would advise you not to do that unless you are wearing, wearing some Kevlar protective gloves and even some sleeves because as soon as you punch through that glass is really going to cause you some serious injury. So please don't think about experimenting if you end up with one of these. So carbide tip in one end, and on the other end they say they can use this to protect yourself. And this is called crenellated. This is crenellation, these little uh, spikes on the end of here. And the idea behind having something crenellated is if someone is doing something you don't like, you can punch them with this. And the idea is that it'll punch through the skin and it will be deep enough and sharp enough to cause a little bit, you know, something to deter, deter them from doing whatever it is they were doing. You can see this is neither deep nor sharp, so probably if you're going to protect yourself, don't use this and instead stab them with the other end. That's probably going to be a little more effective than this quasi crenellation. Anyway, back to the pen. Um, the cap does come off. It's very, like I said, it's very nice machine work. No, no gripes there. Um, the quality of the pen insert is actually pretty good. I did some writing with it and it's very smooth, so they didn't, they didn't cut any corners there. But the pen really isn't the selling point. I mean, the name of this is Lock Proof Pen. So it leads you to believe there's some kind of lock proofing mechanism. And that would be here. You screw off the crenellated part, and when you do, the spring-loaded pen cartridge pushes out this little carrier, and you can see Inside of there are a whole bunch of inserts for some picks, which of course is the focus of this whole thing. So let's take a look at this. We're going to put the cartridge down. Here are the picks that you get. And I have to say, I'm not going to waste a lot of time. These are the crappiest picks made out of the cheapest, softest metal that you can imagine. These are very, very soft, almost like tin. And they're also very, very sharp. So they punch these out of a piece of very soft steel and then just put them in here. This is an afterthought. This is not the focus of this pen. It just happens to be the name that the uh, Scam Stuff uh, website put on this thing. These are junk. And to make it worse, once you take these out to pick a lock, this is how you have to do it. There's no way to mount these uh, picks anywhere. The closest I could come up with is if you take this plastic insert and you slide him right there, then maybe you can slide your pick in there a little bit and it kind of holds him, not real well as you can see, but that there's no other slot or clamp or any way to mount these things up. So they are junk picks and I gotta say, scam stuff, this is a scam. This is a piece of crap. This is junk. I can never, unless you're looking for the crenellation part uh, on the other end, Unless you're just, you absolutely have to have an aluminum bodied pen with a, with a piece of carbide stuck in the end, or if you really like how it looks and you want a pen, you know, then maybe I can see spending your 30 bucks. But other than that, fellas, don't waste your money on this junk. The thing that they send you, they don't tell you about, is this little LED light, and it does come with a battery. So, yeah, man, this is a cool little flashlight. So, you know, maybe if you want the flashlight, 30 bucks is not so bad, but the rest of this, not so much. Anyway, I'm going to give these away. I got two of them because two was the minimum order. Uh, go to the website. In the center of the page, there's a enter contest button. Click it. Fill it out to register. And uh, in 48 hours, we will pick two not-so-lucky winners. I don't want to keep them around here, that's for sure. So I'm going to give them away to you. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay away from this piece of crap.